Hello everyone, welcome to another Java tutorial. This is Eddie the Magic Monk. Uh, so today in this tutorial we're going to start creating some objects and you might have heard that Java is an object oriented programming language. So what that means is in a Java program we just have a lot of objects uh, talking to each other or doing things to each other. So what is an object? Well, you can visualize an object as an object you can see in real life. So for example, in this program right now, we're simulating a dice throw. So the die could be an object. But right now, we haven't made an object for it. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to turn our die into an object. So in order to make an object, we need to make a class for it first because if you can see right now, we have one class which is hello and we need to make a class for the die. So what is a class? A class you can think of as a type of object. Right? So in order to create objects, an object, you need to create the type for it first. So let's right click on um, our default package and let's click new class. Okay, and the name of our class is going to be um, die. Okay, because we're creating, uh, we're going to be creating dice from it. Actually, let's just use a plural form so it's less confusing. Dice. So let's create the object. Okay, so we have a class called dice. And what are we going to do? What are some possible uh, properties of a dice? Now, a property you can think of as something you can see. Okay, now when you are throwing the dice, what's something that you can see? Well, we can see the number that is on top. Okay, so we're going to create int and let's um, make it number and that's it. We have a number variable. Okay, uh, the, the number variable re represents the number on the top after you roll it. So we're going to copy the code from hello, this code here, and we're going to cut it and paste it over here in the dice, in the dice um, class. Okay, now, so basically, how do we generate the number on the top of the dice while well, we use this code to generate it. But when do we generate it? Well, we only generate it when um, an action is conducted with the dice. And we call this action a method. Okay, a method. So we're going to declare the method as public. Public uh, and it's not going to return anything, so public void role. Okay, so the method is called role, and when this method is called, what's going to happen is we change the number that is on top using um, using this code. So this code is only executed when we call the function or call the method role. So we've pretty much completed uh, creating the dice object. And now we're going to um, call, we're going to create this object and we're going to call the method row. So let's go back to hello.java. Let's save this dice class, control S, save it. Let's go back. 
and in order to now create an object let's delete let's delete this line in order to create an object using this class that we've just created the coding for that is we're now going to type in uh, dice which is the type of object and let's give our dice a name okay uh, it doesn't matter what name you give it so let's just call it dice a equals new dice so we've created a new die with a variable name a now this variable a refers to the dice object okay so whenever you use the variable a you're referring to the new dice objects that we've just created okay so what are we gonna do we're gonna call a we're gonna call the method row in the in the uh, object a so a dot row so what this what this means is we will execute let's go back to the dice class we will execute this code in the dice object okay so we're gonna execute that which means the dice in the dice object the property int sorry the property number has changed according to this code so therefore if we want to access that we will go system dot out dot print a dot number okay and uh, are there any more errors in this no so what's going on here the word int is not correctly spelt doesn't really matter okay so let's save this and now if we run it okay if you run this um, run this uh, program it's going to do everything exactly the same as before except we now have a custom made object um, a, a custom made dice object with a variable name a that is referring to it so let's run this and see if it does the same thing so it's does it's doing the same thing for three six six except this number is a property of our dice object okay thanks for watching guys see you next time